Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So to begin our eye makeup look off, I first of all primed my lids with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to create a nice long lasting wear. For the transition shade in my crease, I'm going in with Silk Cream from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and placing that on with a 221 Soft Crease Brush from Zoeva. Just lightly placing that through the crease. I'm holding the bottom of the brush to make sure that I'm applying the product quite lightly. It's a soft application. I don't want it to be too harsh and muddy looking. It's just a transition for the other colours that we're applying on next. The next shades I'm going in with are these three brown tones from the Jaclyn Hill palette again. I'm going in with a more defined brush. This is the Soft Definer from Zoeva. And I'm placing that through the outer corner of my crease and bringing that all the way towards the inner corner. I want the most product focus on the outer corner and then with whatever's on the brush bringing it in toward the inner because I want to kind of create a rounded halo eye sort of look today. So I wanted to round the eye out a little bit more by bringing that shadow all the way in towards my inner corner. Then I go back in with that soft definer brush and some of silk cream and just soften any harsh edges. Next I'm taking these two deeper brown shades from the Jaclyn Hill palette again and on a Real Techniques blending brush I'm going in and placing that product from outer to inner corner again making sure the most product is placed on the outer corner and bringing whatever's left on the brush towards the inner corner rounding our eye shape out again. Then I go back in with the previous tones on that soft definer brush and soften any harsh edges. Next for the lid shade I'm taking this gorgeous kind of limey olivey greenish kind of shade from my Chi Chi Pride palette and packing that on with a chisel shader brush from Morphe. This is MB16 chisel shader brush and I'm packing that all over the lid. To create a more Christmassy olivey kind of vibe to this eye makeup look I didn't want it to just be like a stark green so I went in with some of this gold from the Chi Chi palette again and just packed that all over the green with my finger just to kind of make it more of a muted green shade and bring some of those Christmassy gold tones in there. Then I go and soften the edges with those previous deep brown shades on that Real Techniques brush and then go back in with those other brown shades on the Soft Definer brush and then go back in with that transition shade on my blending brush. To create a more halo effect to the eye, I packed on this kind of greenish, silvery, goldy tone from the Chi Chi palette on the very centre of the lid to kind of give it a pop and make it a bit more intense. It's like more, almost a glitter almost. I loved how it turned out. Then I'm going in with my inner corner and brow bone highlight. This is Beam from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm packing that on with a pencil brush from Zoeva. And I'm just softly blending out any harsh lines and edges. I want it to be quite a soft smoky inner corner if that makes sense. So I just took my precise shader brush from Zoeva and just softened the edges. It's just a clean brush. I mean though it looks dirty. <laughs> then I applied lashes. I'm going in with the iconic lashes from House of Lashes and then I went in and I placed a nude eye coal to my waterline to really open up the eyes. You can go in with a brown if you'd like to make it a little bit more smoky and nighttime appropriate. I want to make this wearable for either nighttime or daytime. Next I'm taking that deep brown shade on a precise shader brush from Zoeva and I'm basically just packing on that really tightly against the bottom lash line all the way from outer to inner corner. I wanted to make it again a more roundedish kind of eye and really define up that bottom lash line. Then what I did, I did a little kind of like trick I haven't done in a while, I really liked how it turned out. I brought the inner corner kind of down a little bit if you can see. So it kind of accentuates that inner corner and gives you a bit more of a doe eye effect. It really opens up the eyes. And I just crispened, is that a word? Crispened up that line with some of my MAC Paint Pot on a eye concealer brush. Then grabbing some of that kind of glittery shade we use in the centre of the lid, I'm just placing that in that little space that we created there in the inner corner. And to blend out that kind of harsh line we've created under the bottom lash line, I'm just going in with some of those brown tones on a gloss pencil brush and just blending out that line so it's a little bit more smoky and not so harsh. Then I'm applying on some bottom lash mascara and the eyes are complete. Yeah. 
so moving on with the lips i thought i'd just keep it kind of simple and nude i wanted to bring a bit of definition to the outer points of my lips as well so i placed a brown eye coal as my lip liner today this is espresso from makeup geek and i just defined up my lip line itself and also filled in the outer portions to create a sort of ombre effect then i went in initially with birthday suit from kylie cosmetics the velvet liquid lipstick collection however i thought it was a little bit too cool toned for this look so once i applied it, i was like oh it's a little bit too cool so i went in with la from Kylie Cosmetics, the Velvet Lipstick Collection as well. And I applied that over top, which is a bit more of a warm toned peachy pink. I thought that suited it a lot better and created the kind of nude that I was going for. And I wanted a more glossy effect to the lips as well, since it is quite a glam look. So I went in with the Dose of Colors Undressed um, Lip Gloss and I applied that over top. And that basically concludes this look today, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed the look. Let me know what you thought down below. If you have any requests for upcoming tutorials or videos, please let me know. And I'll see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Have an awesome week, guys. Have an awesome Christmas. Hope you get spoiled. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.